In this concluding part 3 on parameter extraction, we will learn methods to determine the uh, series resistance, the diode ideality factor A and the reverse saturation current IO. Okay, so the next parameter that we will learn to, to uh, estimate is the reverse saturation current IO. So we once again start with our basic uh, PV current equation shown here and we already know that the I photon is the short circuit current IAC and we have learned how to estimate the shunt resistance. So to determine the reverse saturation current we will once again look at the open circuit condition and under open circuit condition by definition the external current I is 0 and the resulting voltage V is uh, VOC the open circuit voltage. Now sub, uh, let's substitute these values into the current equation. So I is uh, 0, so I photon is the ISC and this is the uh, diode current ID forward by diode current and in this expression the um, this term which is the diode voltage P plus IRS since I is 0 and V is VOC this is equal to VOC. Similarly this term again the diode voltage is VOC. Okay. So from that we get uh, this expression um, where we see that uh, this diode current ID which is IO times uh, in this um, uh, expression uh, the first term the exponential term is extremely large compared to 1 this is in the order of uh, 10 to the 9 or so so 1 can be very easily neglected so with the diode current therefore is IO times e to the VOC over VT and uh, from this expression we see that um, so since I is 0 the, uh, this diode current is uh, I photon minus the shunt resistance current which is uh, given here. Okay, So that gives us the final expression for the reverse saturation current IO uh, which is um, this uh, quantity divided by this exponential term. So IO is uh, ISC minus the um, uh, shunt current VOC over R shunt divided by the um, E to the VOC over VT. So if you look at this expression um, the ISC and VOC those are obtained directly from the data sheet. Um, the R shunt we have already derived a closed form expression so we can use that VOC is uh, from the data sheet. So the only problematic term is this um, VT the thermal voltage which is given by VT equals NS AKT over Q and once again here NS is from the data sheet uh, K and Q are known constants and we are estimating this at a given temperature so T is known. So the only unknown at this point is uh, this diode ideality factor A. Um, so in the next uh, slides we look at how to estimate um, simultaneously A, I, O and R, S. Okay, so the next factor to be estimated is the uh, diode ideality factor A. And uh, before we uh, learn about how to estimate this, let's recap what we, uh, what we have learned about the factor A previously. So we know that A ranges from 1 to 2, um, higher the um, or lower the value of A, it reflects uh, a better diode material, better semiconductor material and it results in smaller values for the um, uh, reverse saturation current uh, IO. Um, and from, the, uh, from this plot which is, uh, which is the IV curve for a single PV cell for three different values of the ideality factor A and clearly the red curve corresponding to the lowest value of A, A equals 1 has the highest uh, maximum power. The um, impact of the ideality factor is um, uh, most dominant near the maximum power point MPP. So we will use that fact to, um, to make an estimate of um, the ideality factor A. Okay, so since we know that A is, um, uh, its effect is dominant at the maximum power point let's look at the PV current at the maximum power point. Okay, so this is the current expression and substituting the values corresponding to the maximum power we know that the uh, voltage is the maximum power point voltage called as VMP and the external current is the IMP the maximum power point current. Okay. So in this expression I is IMP um, the I photon is always a short circuit current IAC uh, minus IO um, E to the this term is the diode voltage VD um, over VT minus 1 and uh, again the same diode voltage divided by the R shunt to, uh, to get the shunt resistance current. Okay. So in this uh, equation VD is the diode voltage is the uh, external voltage which now is VMP plus uh, current times RS so it's IMP times RS. Ok 
Okay, so obviously this is not a closed form expression that we can use to determine the um, uh, factor A. Uh, but this gives us, um, um, I say that because um, there is another unknown, the um, um, reverse saturation current IO in addition to the A. So the A appears really in this term Vt and Vt is uh, shown here and here the only unknown of course is uh, is A. Okay. So, um, um, so what you have uh, derived is another expression that we can use to simultaneously solve for um, A, the series resistance and the diode, uh, the diode reverse saturation current IO. Okay, so as I mentioned, we need to um, determine these three parameters IO, A and RS simultaneously. Okay. So one approach is to use um, a nonlinear equation solver like in MathCAD or MATLAB or some other solver. And the three nonlinear equations are the ones that we derived earlier. Uh, the first one is uh, for the uh, IO, so that we saw in, uh, I think, in this video, in this part. Um, and the second one, uh, what, what we saw just in the previous slide, related to the conditions at the maximum power point. So, the, so this expression for the maximum power point current uh, in terms of um, uh, the VMP, and it, it includes these uh, unknowns, IO and uh, VT, which is a function of uh, A. And the third equation is something that we derived in a previous part of this video on parameter extraction, and that is the series resistance. So this has two terms. The first term, even though it is not given explicitly in the data sheet, uh, but this can be easily estimated from, so all we need is uh, we need to look at the slope of the IV curve at open circuit condition. So that can be done. And uh, so the second term depends on Vt, which is uh, A to be uh, solved. Um, so by solving these three nonlinear equations, uh, we can uh, get the optimum values of IO, A, and RS that, to the maximum extent possible, meets each of these uh, three equations. Okay. So that is one approach. The second approach is to um, again use MathCAD or MATLAB, um, but not as a as a simultaneous nonlinear equation solver, uh, but rather uh, we actually sweep the values of uh, A from uh, 1 to 1.5 or 1 to 2 and uh, for each value of A, uh, once A is known or once we assume a value for A, then this is a closed form expression for IO because Vt is known uh, and all the other parameters are known so IO can be calculated. Similarly, here also uh, this is estimated, Vt is known once we know the value of A so we can calculate RS also. So for each value of A, solve for I1 and RS, and uh, uh, so you get multiple sets of uh, I1, A, and RS. So among those, choose the best set of values that closely matches the IV curve at um, both the open circuit condition as well as at the maximum power point. Okay, so in a later video, we will take an example of a commercial PV uh, module and use the equation that we developed in this uh, video uh, to actually extract the uh, the four main parameters that we need for PV modeling corresponding to that particular um, uh, example PV module.